Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your girl, Ebony Jean. Happy Black History Month to all of my melanin queens and kings. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you all for a little bit about what it's like being black with alopecia. Alopecia is an autoimmune hair loss disorder where the immune system mistakenly attacks one's follicles, resulting to sudden loss of hair. There are multiple types of alopecia. I was diagnosed with universalist at the age of four. This really affected my confidence, not just as a girl, but as a black girl growing up in this society. There are misperceptions surrounding black women, women of color in general, that were not prone to hair loss and wear wigs for fashion. I do want to tackle this for just a little bit. One thing about the black culture, we're known for our hair. It's a part of our heritage, referred to as our crown and glory. And we do like to express our creativity at times through our hairstyles. However, not everything is about making a fashion statement. Sometimes we like to wear wigs for convenience sake. It saves a lot of time and money from styling our hair on a daily basis or weekly basis, depending on our busy schedules. Also, we like to wear wigs that complement our natural uh, hair textures, along with the hair loss community, of course. We like to wear wigs to um, express our versatility and things of that nature. Finally, you have those who wear wigs as protective styles in order to promote and encourage natural hair growth for underneath. Black women are prone to hair loss just as much. In fact, we deal with what's called attraction alopecia. That's caused by excessive pulling of the hair due to wearing certain styles such as braids. When it comes to being diagnosed in general with hair loss, um, a lot of people throughout the black community are ashamed of their stories. They're afraid of the criticism responses that people may give off, especially within the black community, because for so long hair has been praised throughout our culture and it's deemed upon that if you are bald, you are unattractive. So I'm hoping that we can bridge the gap one day between natural beauty and hair loss. Not only is natural hair beautiful, but bald is beautiful. As a woman and alopecia awareness advocate, here's my advice to you. There is power, freedom, and victory in transparency. Let me be the first to congratulate you on sharing your story. I am so excited for you. You have a huge alopecia gang waiting to love on you, support you. Most importantly, hair does not define who you are. Remember, don't listen to what's out here on social media and what society may tell you redefine the definition of beauty and change the normal standard you have so much to offer to the world you are amazing and i cannot wait to see you shine also take your time healing and remember that you have so much love all right i love you i cannot wait to see you connect with us out here on social media and it's time for you to rock that crown bye